Well, April is Physical Wellness Month, and it's the perfect time to get moving after a long winter. But for 27 million Americans, getting up and moving is painful, and that's because they suffer from osteoarthritis. Joining us this morning live via satellite is Dr. Joseph Markinson to explain why exercise could actually be critical for our uh, osteoarthritis treatment. Good morning, doctor. Good morning. All right, it doesn't sound like uh, osteoarthritis and exercise would actually go hand in hand, but how is it that exercise can actually help instead of hurt? Very much so. <clears throat> when you have a knee pain and you start to walk, you tend to atrophy your muscles because you really don't use the knee very well. And what you really need to do is do some exercise, excuse me, sure. <clears throat> to make sure. Yes, and of course you're going to be you telling build us. up the muscles. You want to build up the muscles around your knee because if you don't, then the knee becomes weak and if you step off a curb the wrong way, you may tend to injure it even more. So exercises, what we call isometric exercises, are a very integral part of treating osteoarthritis of the knee. It does decrease the pain and it makes your knee more stable. Okay, doctor, I, I have two questions. Let's begin with pain. How do we know if the pain in our knee is just normal pain because we're tired or if it's something more serious? Well, generally, pain, it's not serious, doesn't persist. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Sure. And if it persists, it's a warning sign, which means you should see your doctor and get a proper diagnosis as to mm -hmm. what it really comes from. Okay. So how do we know if we're exercising right? Because oftentimes, pounding the pavement really puts pressure on your knees. That's true. But the kind of exercises we are talking about do not do that. So what you want to do when you have osteoarthritis Go to your doctor, get a diagnosis. Exercise is only a part of the therapy. Okay. The therapy for pain includes medications, which mm. are over-the-counter, analgesics, and there are even some topical medicines that one can use, which are anti-inflammatory. And so once you get that diagnosis, you can get a recommendation for your physician what's best for you. The topical ones are just as good, in my opinion, as the oral medications, and in elderly people, they may be preferred because they work locally and don't get absorbed into the system. Mm -hmm. Examples of the over-the-counter are Tylenol and Advil. Right. And the topicals are things like Pensed. Okay. But they're very effective in decreasing pain. Hey, doctor, before we let you go, I'm sure there's still a lot of people out there who want more information. Where can sure. they go to learn more? Go on the website, either for the Arthritis Foundation or the American College of Rheumatology, and you'll see arthritis and scroll down to osteoarthritis. And many of the things we've talked about are elaborated there in a little longer fashion. Great. Doctor, some good tips there. Thank you so much for joining us this morning.